Now to the future astronaut about to break new ground as she becomes the first black woman to go on a long duration mission to the International Space Station this spring. ABC's Gio Benitez has this story. They don't make them like this in New York. This is the International Space Station, 248 miles above Earth, traveling at 17,500 miles per hour, orbiting the Earth 16 times every day. Although it's meant as a research hub for astronauts from all over the world, its crew finds a way to have a bit of fun. Thanks for the honor, guys. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Oh, excellent. I'm kind of working it out to the ends. Of the thousands who apply for the astronaut candidate program, only a few are chosen. And 33-year-old Jessica Watkins was one of them. Jessica Watkins. <laughs> Did you ever think that this was going to be possible, that one day you would be flying to space to do work on the International Space Station? Yeah, you know, it always was kind of a, a, a distant dream for me. Um, it's something that I um, wanted to pursue, but, but really honestly never thought would actually happen. Watkins, a geologist and one of the youngest candidates in history, was chosen as the final member of SpaceX Crew 4. In mid-April, she, along with three others, will spend six months aboard the International Space Station, conducting research and observing geological changes on Earth. We often hear from astronauts that when they get up there and they see the Earth from that perspective, from that vantage point, it changes them. Have you thought about how it might change you? Yeah, you know, I think, I think that, that the effect, that overview effect, I think is, is very real. Being able to see the Earth as, as one whole body and one small fragile body as well that we all live on, that kind of sentiment being able to, to see how, how small we really are, how shared our space is, and then how fragile that environment is. You know, being able to see just, you know, the, the thin atmosphere, I think really will have an impact in terms of just appreciating what we have and, and um, being good stewards of it. Watkins will serve as a mission specialist, and while she'll be the fifth African-American woman to go up to space following the footsteps of women like Mae Jemison, she will be the first to actually live and work on the ISS on a long-duration mission. So what was that training like? So we have, uh, there are kind of two components of, of training. First, when we first arrive after we're first selected, uh, much like the, the most recent uh, class that just got selected is about to embark on their kind of two years of basic training. She spent the past few years learning how to fly T-38 jets, to speak Russian, to communicate with Russian ISS crew members, and of course, spacewalking. What is really important about that is, you know, for, for everyone kind of here on the ground, I think is, is getting to see the team of people here at NASA that all come from different backgrounds, different expertise, come together and accomplish these really difficult things, set these, these really almost impossible goals, and then just put in the work together to make those goals happen. And I think that's something that we can really just take away for our daily day-to-day day -day lives. As Watkins prepares to embark on what will surely be one of her life's greatest missions, she makes sure to remind herself to soak in each moment, never forgetting the journey she took to have her dream come true. What's your message to, to the children of America? To any kids watching, I would just say, find what you're passionate about, find what you love doing, and just pursue it relentlessly. Dream big, you never know uh, when those dreams are, are gonna come true. Find what you are passionate about. Our thanks to Gio Benitez for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.